Uh, thank you, Stephen. I know that some of these bills have been before us, and uh, one not really related to this, if you could comment on, uh, because a number of us on this committee have got uh, correspondence from individuals and referencing seem to be the backlog of uh, licensing permitting for gun permits. And, um, you know, as we talk about that 1248, we hear that the amount of personnel that are in there seems to be understaffed. So if you'd like to comment on that, please. Yeah, we, we have lost some staffing uh, in that unit. The, the unit that you're talking about and where the backlog is is in regard to uh, uh, fingerprint processing. And uh, uh, a, a huge expanding area in terms of uh, agency responsibilities is in regard to what is called the use of uh, uh, fingerprint identification for non-criminal justice purposes. Specifically, uh, over a number of years, the uh, legislature has identified a number of uh, positions where people are working with classes of people that uh, might be at more risk than the general population. Uh, youth and senior citizens and the like, and, and said that uh, we want people that are going to be going into these positions to have uh, fingerprint background checks to make sure that they're appropriate. So the unit that's doing these is the same unit that's doing the fingerprint identification that is causing the, uh, the whole backlog that's also affecting the permit carriers. In regard to the, the permit to carry, there is in statute uh, a specific timeline of eight weeks uh, during which we're supposed to uh, get a response, and we are striving to meet that in regard to the permits, actually putting those at a higher priority because of the statutory requirement uh, to try to turn those around. In terms of uh, a long-term solution, in terms of, of fixing the situation, uh, uh, technology is, can help tremendously. And uh, uh, last year when uh, uh, home health aides were added to the group that for which uh, background checks would need to be done. There was some federal money which we have not yet been able to access that would provide, uh, I think, in the range of uh, uh, six or seven hundred thousand uh, dollars for some technology that would help us in terms of, of addressing the backlog and doing things much more efficiently. Uh, we've recently met with uh, uh, Ben Barnes at OPM uh, and indicated that. Uh, uh, that money that that uh, will be available at some point in time, if it was supplemented, it would enable us to do a much better job. And uh, there is apparently some technology money available, and uh, OPM realizes the problem, and I think they're going to help us. In the meantime, uh, we've had some other strategies in terms of uh, uh, some of the agencies that send us uh, uh, these uh, fingerprints are, have agreed to take on some of the responsibilities themselves. So, so we're, we're trying to work in a number of ways to address the backlog, uh, and in, in particular in regard to the, the permit carriers, they're getting some priority, and we are striving in every way to meet the eight weeks. Uh, thank you. 